Welcome to Shakespeare Short Game Secrets. My name is Andy Shakespeare, PJ Professional, and today's video I'm going to talk to you about using the bounce. It's probably a term you've heard before, but what does it actually mean and how does it help us improve our chipping? Let me start off by explaining what bounce actually is. So I've got my 58 degree lob wedge here and if you actually look carefully at that, it's got a number there. So it says 08M. So what that stands for is that there is eight degrees of bounce on this club. So that angle it's talking about is the difference between the sole here and the leading edge. So in this little angle here, there'll be eight degrees in there. So you'll notice that the club isn't as straight on the bottom. It's got this, this angle here, which is known as the bounce angle. So why is that important? So the bounce angle is important because it's what helps the club work through the turf, the top layer of the turf correctly in order to produce better shots. So that just allows us to be shallow in our chipping to produce better results and more consistent results. So back, Back a few years ago, so we're talking the 50s and 60s, the sand wedges were designed with a very straight bottom edge and the style of shots was so much steeper and you had to just like pinch the ball off. But now with modern technology and they've, they've really worked on how producing different bounce angles can help, that they've produced clubs where it allows us to be shallow and we can produce really consistent results when we're doing our chipping, our pitching and our bunker shots. So how does this bounce actually help us? So what the bounce will allow, it will allow us to be shallow in our chipping. So because the bounce is on the club there, with this shallow, this shallow angle we're creating, the club is going to glide through that top layer of turf. So where before there was no bounce with those sharp sand wedges, they had to be very precise. So they had to hit down on a very steep angle, but had to ensure that they struck the ball in exactly the right place. Now that we have the bounce on the club, this allows us this margin for error. So as long as I get the strike in the general zone of the ball, I still will produce decent chip shots, decent pitches, when I'm out on the course. So I'll just come in a bit closer. So if we maintain that shallow angle and use the bounce, as long as I'm under the equator of the ball, the ball's going to go up. Where if I'm steep and I come in on the equator of the ball, I get get that fin shot. So this shallowness means that ideally we want the strike to be here, but by getting in the general area, and as long as I'm under the equator of the ball, I'm still going to lift the ball and produce some decent shots. So now I'm going to show you a slow mo of different strikes on the on my tighter line mat, showing a steep strike, a shallow strike, precise on the ball, and a shallow strike in the general zone of the ball. So you should be able to see that we still produce a decent action with those shallow strikes using the bounce correctly. So I hope those slow-mos gave you an idea of how the different angles of attack, so steep or shallow, affects the strike of the golf ball when we're chipping. So the first one I was too steep, so I'm going to show you that down the line and the result of the shot in my garden. So when I get too steep, my strike has to be absolutely perfect, 
if I slightly misjudge it, we're going to end up with those fin shots, which no one likes to see. So the second slow-mo showed a nice shallow angle of attack into the ball, and I used the bounce nicely, and the strike was bang on the ball. So I'll try and reproduce that here. So I've got a really nice strike there. I could feel, I could actually feel the bounce of the club working under the ball. So the club was working for me. It just felt really good off the face. So then finally, I'm gonna do the same nice shallow angle of attack, but I'm gonna get my strike slightly wrong. So I'm gonna bottom out before the golf ball. So I'll probably strike that a good two, three inches behind the ball there. But because the bounce on the club worked for me, <coughs> I still managed to get the ball up in the air and produce a fairly decent result. Thanks for watching this edition of Shakespeare Short Game Secrets. I hope this is giving you an insight to what the bounce on the wedge is and how we actually utilize that in our chipping. So it's really important that we use the bounce to our advantage. So by having a shallow strike through the hitting zone, we're gonna be able to achieve that. Any questions, please fire them in the comments below. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel for further short game tips.